Well, the folks here at the Mid-City Mall aren't going to let the threat of bad weather put a damper on their summer plans. No, it's the high cost of fuel that has people concerned. I'm here with Jonathan. Jonathan, how have you dealt with the uh, rising cost of fuel? Uh, actually, I got rid of my car, and I don't drive anymore. Uh, how do you, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm... Are you guys not getting audio on this? They're telling me to do, do it louder? You can't hear that? Okay, there's some issues with the mic. Do it just uh, a little louder. Here we go. I'm dealing with it. I really don't like it, but I don't have a choice but to deal with it. Uh, 60 series, 15 by 60s. That's way low. That's way, way, way low. low. All right, let's just pick her up. I just can talk louder. Louder? You're kidding me. I'm here with Captain John and Captain Bar. Hey, tell us about this bike you got right here. It's a 2008 Victory Vegas jackpot. We're giving it away June the 8th. Hey, Can't hear that? All right, all right. You got to get louder, dude. Woo. Now, give me that line one more time, a little bit louder. Have you noticed the increase at the grocery? <laughs> it's the high cost of fuel that had people concerned. What do you think about the prices, Carl? It's outrageous. I eat a lot of blueberries, Peter, and I know the blueberries are like 450 for a small bunch, where they used to be like 237 or something. It's ridiculous, Peter. Jennifer, tell the folks at home what you do. I'm the secretary for Mount Washington Coats Youth Football and Cheerleading Squad. Are you driving more or less nowadays? Less. I'm riding my motorcycle. Yes, I spent $150 a week on food. And, hey, that, you don't have to scream. I mean, we got professional equipment here.